Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Today is all about the Indianapolis Colts. They are the team that won the last poll we did over on my Facebook streams. I'm actually streaming right now, right after this video goes live. So come through, vote for the next one. Now, Colts recently acquired Carson Wentz in the offseason. So while he may be their quarterback in real life, today is all about Peyton Manning. Now, I know a lot of you guys play mutt, and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team. So if you wanna just buy some training or coins or players, head on over to muttreserve.com. Use my code CK, and not only will you be rich one day, but you'll also get 15% off your order. But Peyton's not the only addition we made to the Colts team. I introduced to you one of the best, if not the best defender in Indianapolis Colts history, Robert Mathis. He was a five-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro. He won a championship with the Colts, 527 total tackles, 123 sacks, which ranks 19th all-time, 52 forced fumbles, 17 fumble recoveries, a pick, and three defensive touchdowns. His best season came in 2013 when he had 19 and a half sacks to go along with 10 forced fumbles. Oh yeah, and speaking of forced fumbles, he has the most in NFL history. Dwight Freeney has the third most, and he has a couple more sacks than Mathis, but uh, yeah, it was pretty much a coin flip. That's how I decided which one of them to add to the team. So here we have Robert Mathis, 97 overall, X Factor 6'2", 245 straight out of Alabama A&M. The number one ranked left end in the entire league. So now this D-line has him, Buckner, Quiddy Pay, who they got in the draft. He had to throw on a strip specialist. I mean, when you have the most forced fumbles in the entire NFL's history, hopefully you can force some in a Madden simulation. We gave him Estrad as well as Fearmonger. Now, when it comes to the greatest football player to ever play in Indianapolis, it's gotta be Peyton Manning. I'm gonna go on record as saying this is probably my pick for the second best quarterback of all time. Just my humble opinion, okay? Don't get mad. That is it's literally just an opinion now a true testament to his greatness is when he missed an entire season because of a neck injury came back and then a couple years later set the record for the most passing touchdowns in a season with 55 and he set the record for most passing yards in the same season it would not be right if you gave peyton manning any other x factor than omaha and now he's the number one ranked quarterback in the league can you imagine a time with prime manning prime brady and prime Mahomes in the same conference. That would have been crazy. 6'5", 230, straight out of Tennessee. Here are his abilities real quick, man. I, I cannot wait to see how far he can take this Colts team. Sorry, Carson, but you're gonna have to wait just a little bit. Now Peyton is taking over the team. I thought about bringing back Marvin Harrison, you know, Reggie Wayne, but the defense needed some help, okay? Now the offense is good with a 99 overall leading the way. The defense can definitely hold their own. That was, you know, the struggles in Peyton's career early on. The defense would hold them back the offense was always producing so hopefully robert mathis with a couple of other studs can help lead this defense to a good season this is not good news we have to stop the losing streak halfway through the season currently two and five i'm not sure what's going on lost a close one to the vikings close one to the jets got blown out by the browns who are really good lost a close one to the Bengals, and then a two score game against the lions so that's three close games it's not like we're getting blown out you know we, we still have a chance secondary could definitely use some uh talking to them. i kind of want us to play the titans in week 10 so i'm gonna advance the week and hope we can pull off the upset against the ravens yes sir 27 24 back to our winning ways look how happy xavier rhodes is man you love to see it come on baby let's start off with a bang gotta stop derrick henry and he's already trucking people luckily it's holding it's coming back i'm watching everything let's go robert mathis already getting started it's gonna be a third and 18 empty backfield gonna use a curry oh it's four verticals nothing's open that's good defense and we're gonna force the three and out we begin with a pass of course naeem could you imagine peyton with naeem we'll run low play action on second and two circle wide open oh no what the hell who was that janoris they don't call him jack rabbit for no reason you saw the way he got up i promise you we're gonna be flawless with peyton for the rest of the game that was 100 percent on me i took way too long to pass it way too long but there's nobody open i got it right back all right we're gonna we're gonna rely on our running backs and our amazing offensive line hey peyton has some good running backs to work with he had edron james joseph adai it was a really good one now he has naeem Okay, he still has T.Y. and that's going to be a late hit. Tack on 15. First and 10. Yes, sir. Just be patient, Pascal, getting us inside the five. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
throw it to Naeem. Come on. Oh, Naeem dropping a pass. You don't see that too often. All right, man. I, I low-key should have ran it by now. If we don't get it here, I, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and run it. But we should be able to get it. Come on, Jack Doyle giving us the lead. Oh, God, Derrick Henry. Yes, another flag. Flags are saving us right now. Another holding penalty. You love to see it. I'm going to get the hand off the stretch. Robert Mathis. Oh, even he can't take Henry down one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, a little space and switch. Oh, my goodness, another one. Robert Mathis is now in the zone after his second sack of the quarter. That fear monger about to go crazy. His bar is full. Might as well. Might as well rush with him. Bull rush. Make him get rid of it. Big third and 13. Look at all the help they got on this side. That's not enough. Okay, I guess it was. Come on. Big tackle in open space. Yes. Kenny Moore making this a fourth down. Back to the pass. Back to Naeem. Yes, sir. Natural grab and go. Oh, yeah. Don't get it twisted. Peyton loved his tight ends, too. Dallas Clark ring any bells? Okay, he not open. Oh, Naeem gonna be wide open. Naeem's gonna be, look, you saw him destroy him on the route. Oh yeah, nice block up the field by TY. We're in their territory. I can't wait to activate Omaha. Hopefully you can make that happen sometime soon. X, wide open, Manning on the run. Let's try to get paid in a second touchdown. I gotta, I gotta put that interception way behind us. I, I'm looking for four or five touchdowns. TY getting open and giving us the two possession lead. Clamps, nothing but clamps. Oh, that should have been a sack. Oh, I knew they were going to go there. Probably shouldn't have used it that safe. Got Naeem on the Texas. Got T.Y. on a comeback. Somebody's open. Come on, playmaker. Peyton on the run. Paris Campbell. He's been damn near flawless since the first interception, which wasn't even his fault. I take full blame, full responsibility. And now we have another one. Look at the precision. That man is phenomenal. Play action, first and 10. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Paris Campbell. What a catch. Manning throws his fourth touchdown of the game. Oh, yeah. The screen. Looks like a screen. Carrizi getting out there. It's a fourth down. That was the most scuffed screen I've ever seen in my life. This is going to be a fourth and eight. And I know we can get off the field. It's going to happen. We're all over it. No way. Interception. Xavier Rhodes closed. Sealing the victory. We're one step closer to 500. Would you look at that? Peyton Manning led this team to the playoffs. They only lost one game the rest of the season. That's what GOATs do. He was first in the NFL in passing yards. Fourth in passing touchdowns. 38 to 12 touchdown interception ratio. Over 300 yards per game. He killed it. Marlon Mack. Naeem didn't get much going on the ground. Jonathan Taylor has six touchdowns, but it was a lot of passing going on. Pascal, 1,000-yard season. T.Y., 1,000-yard season. Jack Doyle, 10 touchdowns. On defense, of course, we got to look at Robert Mathis. 10 sacks led the entire team. 19 tackles for a loss also led the team. The Colts ended up first on offense and second on defense. How are they only 10 to 6? Cam ends up winning MVP over Peyton, who ended up a close second, but he did win best QB. Mathis ends up the third best D lineman in the entire AFC. So now it's Peyton's second team versus first team. Colts versus Broncos. Peyton's taking his team to the divisional round. You can't make this up. Now it's Peyton and the Colts taking on the Patriots, just like the old days. Last chance for the Patriots, down one point. This is to go to the conference championship. Cam Newton letting it fly. It's caught. What the hell? No way. There's no way. You really hate to see it, man. I thought for sure the Colts are going to win. Just a heartbreaker. Their run ends in the divisional round, and that's all she wrote for Peyton. Patriots end up losing the next round. We could have had Mahomes versus Manning. Instead, Mahomes ends up winning the Super Bowl. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. This was a fun one, man. I loved using Peyton. A lot of teams left. Come through and vote in the stream. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And I'll see you guys on the next one.